Good morning, third graders, and happy, happy Wednesday. Today is going to be day two of our grammar drive-in movie theaters, but it will also kick off our very first distance learning writer's workshop. So to get us started today, and before I tell you a little bit about your assignment for today's drive-in movie theaters, I want to give you a little bit of a glimpse into what your next three or four days are going to look like for writer's workshop. Don't worry, you don't need to remember all right now. I will be touching base with you every day um, with a mini lesson video like we've done here and on Seesaw with some notes and um, kind of some correction off offerings that you could take and use just like we would do in class if we were having a writing conference there. So let's first look at what your assignments are going to look like over the next couple of days and what you're going to be needing. And then we will wrap up with your instructions for today. Okay, first of all, I want to show you what you're going to be looking at on Seesaw. Seesaw over the next four days, you are going to have four assignments that you will need and they are gonna all be available starting today because all of you will be working and writing at different paces and will need access to all of those assignments getting started. So I don't want you to be overwhelmed seeing them. I want you to go ahead and know what those look like. So let me show you what you're going to see on Seesaw. I know my screen looks different than yours, but the names will be the same. You are gonna be looking at these four assignments on Seesaw over the next four days as you start Writer's Workshop today. Um, the one that you are going to be starting with today is the short, form, short film sloppy copy notes, and I'm gonna explain that in a second. Today you are also going to be using the short film writing piece checklist and rubric, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. And then at the end of every writing workshop over the next three, four days, you are going to be turning in what you have accomplished so far. And no, I do not expect you to be finished with your sloppy copy, your first draft and your final draft all in one day. So you will be turning in everything that you have finished, even if it's one paragraph. Everything that you have finished so far at the end of your class time on the conferencing assignment. I will take whatever you turn in, I will look at it, I will add notes to it and send it back to you so that the next day you can take those notes and help you as you start picking up where you left off and start working on editing and completing your final draft. And then by the end of the week, as you wrap up on this assignment, you will be turning in your last final draft on the short film final draft assignment and that will be your completion. I know that sounds like a lot, but remember you don't need it all today and it's going to last you three or four days and you can always go back and look at this or you can ask me if you have any questions. Um, but remember in writing workshop, we all work at different paces and so everything needs to be available to you as soon as you can. Please make sure that you double, double check the instructions I have on each assignment in Seesaw. Go back, read what you need to do, um, double check what I'm asking you to do. You're going to start today with the sloppy copy and the checklist. So I wanna show you a little bit about what you're gonna do on the checklist today and how that's gonna help you through the rest of the week. Okay, again, something that you are very used to seeing in our classroom, a rubric or checklist helping you as you write your pieces. Um, we are starting a piece today that I'm gonna explain a little bit more in a second, but on the rubric, you will see what I am looking for in your writing. In this box here, I have added the five different grammar skills that we have been practicing all week. Conjunctions, commas, prepositions and prepositional phrases, dialogue, um, using commas correctly in all of those types of writing, including a list or a series. This is something I expect to be included in your writing this week, so use this to help you and guide you. At the bottom of the checklist is a little bit of a checkpoint and daily goals for each day that we will be working on this writing workshop. So starting today, what you should be able to do. Thursday, where you should be able to pick up and what you should be accomplished in your 30 to 35 minutes of writer's workshop. Friday, and then a little bit more on Monday. Some of you will finish before that and that is okay, but this is kind of your goal for each day moving forward. My instructions on Seesaw tell you to please take a screenshot of that checklist. 
You do not have to submit it. You do not have to turn it back into me. Take a screenshot of it, save that on your iPad because you will need to be able to look at that for the next three or four days. And I don't want you to have to go back to Seesaw every single time to look at it or grab it while you might be typing or writing somewhere else. So take a screenshot of it and then you're done with that part of the assignment. So that is your checklist. Those are kind of the daily goals that you will be using to help you as you start writing this assignment. Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, for drive-in movies, it wouldn't quite be a drive-in movie if we didn't have a movie. So today you are going to go to the Google website and you are going to see a list of four or five different short films. Let me show you what that'll look like. Okay, you'll be on the Wednesday section of the Google site. I have some instructions to get you started. And then down here, you'll see a list of five different short films for you to choose from. You are going to choose one of them. Yes, you may watch all of them if you like. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I did. But you are going to choose one of them that you would like, watch it. And then that is going to be what you base your writing off of. So after you've chosen and watched the film that you would like to base your writing off of, you're gonna notice that the film does not have any dialogue or narration. It has no script. So that is your job this week. Using all of the grammar skills that you already know and that we have reviewed heavily this week, use the checklist I showed you, you are going to write the story that you see in this film. You're gonna add in the dialogue between the characters. If a character does not have a name, just call it what it is. If it's a bird in the film, just call it a bird or be creative, give it a name. That'll be fun. Um, I want you to be as creative as possible just using this film to kind of kickstart some imagination, but you are going to be writing the story behind what you see in the film. Remember, I'm gonna to touch base with you every day. I am going to be conferencing, conferencing with you through Seesaw. Um, a little bit later in this week, you're gonna start seeing a goals sheet show up as one of your assignments, and I'll talk about that in our mini lesson on that day. But I'm gonna be with you as we walk through this. So your goal today is to pick one of the films or sit back and enjoy watching all of them. Grab some of your favorite snacks. I already grabbed mine. So raid your pantry, find what you have, find some of your favorite movie watching, snacks, take a seat and watch your short films. Choose one of them, go to Seesaw, grab the sloppy copy notes page and start working on planning your story with a beginning, middle and ending. Remember, if you can't write on Seesaw, grab some notebook paper or type on pages, that is okay. Seesaw is just there to give you the instructions or to help you if you need it. I cannot wait to see what you come up with as you submit in the conferencing assignment, whatever you finish today. Remember, I don't expect you to finish the whole assignment today. Just get started, set a timer, 25, 30 minutes of writing, and when you're done, submit it to conferencing so I can see what you've accomplished so far today. I'll send you some notes to get you started for the next day, and I will see you with another mini lesson tomorrow. Have a happy, happy Wednesday. And Mrs. Cole, is out.